Hello everybody, I'm Yolanda, aka Creative Mom Eve 2, and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to do a whip and chat. So grab out whatever it is that is your work in progress, aka whip, and let's have a ramble, shall we? Today is a pretty late evening for me, so I might get extra rambly because yeah, if you've been here before, you know me, and yeah, I'm not sorry for it. <laughs> But yeah, it's been a long day, <laughs> or at least it feels like a long day. I have just been filming multiple videos, because, yeah, I wanted to have a few done. I actually had a PR package that will be shown next week on Monday. And I wanted to share an update with you on my uh, no buy how that is going. The video took quite a bit longer than I anticipated. It was almost an hour long, so <laughs> if that video goes up in two weeks time, because yeah, I'm trying to keep a rhythm of like three times a day, if at three times a week. So when I have like a massive amount of videos I need to film, it will not be going up in one week. I will just have a Backlog of videos. <laughs> yeah, so I had those two filmed, so that's at least settled for the upcoming two weeks. Well, actually, three weeks because I still have another video that, yeah, needed to go up. That's already filmed for like a couple of weeks now. But yeah, I like to have a few backups, so in case I am not feeling the greatest, I still have something that I have so I can still upload on Monday. I'm also a little bit sniffly, so that's a thing I don't like too much. But it's going around the house at the moment. Sun is still coughing quite a lot, but thankfully it looks like it's getting down. It is at least not as bad as it was. Husband's a little bit hit or miss. He was feeling fine like over the weekend, or at least on Saturday and Sunday. He totally crashed and was in bed for like most of the day, which he didn't like because normally he would have had his D&D group in the evening. So that wasn't nice. So yeah, it was a bummer for him because he really liked to do that. Thankfully for him, they already have one next week because normally it would have been the week before, actually on my birthday. But one of the other people in the group wasn't available that weekend. So they changed it to last Sunday because normally it's on Saturday. But yet yeah, there were a few that wanted to celebrate King's Day. And yeah, so it was on Sunday. He wasn't able to make it. <laughs> but yeah, didn't like it too much because yeah, I obviously also like it when there's nobody around. Even though still the kids are upstairs and stuff. We talked about that. He was like, yeah, he was really bummed because he likes, he likes the group. He would love to have the opportunity to go out and do something. I was like, yeah, not to sound like I want to get rid of you, but I would really appreciate, I would have really liked the space and the quietness around me because yeah, I'm always at home, but there's always somebody around me. So yeah, I was like, yeah, I understand. But yeah, how long has it been that I've been alone in the house? I was like, yeah, but you at least leave the house. <laughs> For more than five minutes. Because, yeah, he's the one working. Sorry, I need to move my tree of drills. But yeah, so he's the one working from the two of us. So I was like, yeah. But you at least have interaction with other people that's not only about the kids. <laughs> he's like, yeah, true that. <laughs> but yeah, when he is at home, he does like to have time, like, peace and quiet, like nobody at home. But at the same time, 
He also likes it to, for example, if he's at home on a Tuesday and the kids need to go to their gym class to take them so I don't need to go. Because, yeah, I'm the one that always goes normally. And for him, it's also fun to see it and not only hear about it. Even though at the same time, he would also love it to have just an hour of peace and quiet in his own house. Gosh, yeah. I don't think he had that since we had the kids, basically. Because, yeah, it's always either me or the kids around. So, yeah, it's a little bit of a give and take. But oh well. But yeah, so it's, as I was saying, it's late already. So it's like uh, around 11 o'clock at night, the time I'm filming. Normally by this time I would be picking up to go to bed. <laughs> so yeah, I already fed the cat and my husband was like, hey, I didn't get a message. Like, what gifts? And I was like, yeah, I wanted to feed her in between because, yeah, she's starting to get fussy. And I don't want to film another video with her fussing around. And it was like, another? I was like, yeah, you know, I told you that it was probably going to take a long time. He was like, yeah, okay, true that. So he came down, wanted to eat something. I was like, yeah, fine. I still need to move some stuff around. I need to set the camera in a new place. And because, yeah, the other videos I filmed was at a front table. So, yeah. <laughs> By the way, I believe I totally forgot to ask you, how was your week? What have you been working on? Did you have a good time? We had actually a pretty decent time. I was totally and completely exhausted after Saturday. Because... Last week, bit by bit, I have been doing the cleaning because on Saturday we celebrated our son's fourth birthday because his birthday is on the 2nd of May, which is actually in two days for me <laughs> because I'm filming this on a Tuesday. So yeah, it's this upcoming Thursday, but this Saturday, which we would normally would have liked to hold his birthday, we have a family day from my side of the family. So we just decided to do it a week earlier. <coughs> Excuse me, my throat is getting dry. <laughs> That's what you get for wanting to do everything in one evening. But yeah, otherwise I don't have time to time lapse. <laughs> and do stuff for myself. Because yeah, tomorrow it will be date night for me and my husband. But yeah, so, yeah, I was during the week, I was already trying to at least clean a little bit around the house. So that I didn't, didn't need to do everything in one go on Saturday and stuff. I do like the finishing up of stuff. Because I did bake everything myself. I love to do that. And... The only thing I didn't need to bake was the birthday cake with the candles because my mother-in-law always does that. So that's at least a thing I don't need to do. <laughs> but yeah, we did everything in little cups. So I made a strawberry mousse with a cake layer in between, which was drenched in a strawberry syrup, which was actually a bit too airy. <laughs> was really good, but it was. It didn't felt like moussey. <laughs> if that's like makes any sense. <laughs> then I made a triple chocolate mousse. I made a cheesecake, which actually we put everything in little cups, so it was like a small sized cheesecake. To be exact, a Lotus Biscoff cheesecake which is our house staple. <laughs> and let's think. 
Oh, sorry. Oh, yeah, I tried to make a tompous, which is like a puff pastry with a pastry cream inside. But I also sort of like deconstructed it and made it into a like little cup. So I put some puff pastry things that I broke uh, underneath, then some pastry cream that I made myself. I guess that's not too much of a work. <laughs> but I made that and then I put some orange food colored glaze on top and I put in a piece of, of pastry again. It looked very good, taste was a little bit meh. So yeah, but all in all, it was fun. I had a good time making everything, so that's at least a good part. On Friday, I in the morning brought my daughter to school, ate my breakfast because yeah, that's important. Oops, I need to grab out a little bag. Yeah, so I got my breakfast then after that i did like the necessary little bit of cleaning i needed to do like little boxes and like vacuuming like the hallway and upstairs because that's the place where our roomba doesn't come because that's only only for in the living room kitchen area and it can't walk stairs so <laughs> otherwise that would be very nice would be a great invention if they could make a Roomba walk up the stairs so it could clean upstairs as well. But yeah, I can't have everything. It at least does my living room area for me. <laughs> but yeah, so I did that and after that I started making everything. I made like every, basically like all the warm stuff so i made the pastry cream because you need to cook that i made like a cake base even though i in the end needed to use a store-bought version because it didn't taste the greatest it felt like it wasn't really well done and it didn't rise big enough so yeah we decided to cheat a little bit I also baked off the puff pastry. Didn't bake it from scratch. It's the thing I really want to try to bake it from scratch, but not now. <laughs> um, what else did I do? Let's like the warm stuff. No, I also didn't do the cream puffs. I made some cream puffs as well, which are actually Pretty fun to do. Well, pretty easy to do. I better say it like that. They're also fun to do. Don't get me wrong, but they look harder than they are actually are to make. It's always a piece of, of a recipe that you think like when you're mixing it, it feels like it's going completely horribly wrong because it's just having a texture that you're like, seriously, I don't think this is the way it's supposed to go. But yes, it's supposed to go that way. Because you need to have like a dough ball and then you need to add eggs. And it feels as if you're just mixing pieces of dough around an egg. And at a certain point it just... It becomes better. But you're like, wow, magic. So yeah. In the evening we made it ourselves easy and we ate french fries because yeah wasn't in the mood to cook anymore <laughs> because i still needed to do stuff in the evening because for the strawberry mousse i made we still needed to have groceries same for the cheesecake and the triple chocolate mousse and stuff so yeah I ended up needing to do quite a lot <laughs> So I think I have been busy with everything, like cooking and cleaning and stuff, like from 9.30 in the morning till around 10 o'clock at night. So I was completely exhausted. 
the morning after I still needed to wake up a little bit early to finish off everything because in the evening I like made some chocolate shavings to put on the chocolate mousse cut the strawberries from the strawberry mousse and stuff like that so that was all ready to go so I could decorate it as soon as I started my day basically husband decided to sleep in so he was up at like at least 10 10 30 I was like dang it but yeah I'm well, like I'm not going to fuss at him because he has been sick and almost for like two weeks thankfully last week he, could, he was able to do at least a little bit at work I believe <coughs> excuse me I'm going to drink a little bit because my throat is getting dry downfall of talking so much <laughs> I'm getting a little bit of a cold but yeah but yeah so I was like I'm not going to fuss too much but at the same time I was like seriously because yeah I still needed to do some extra cleaning I needed to finish everything baking um, the kids needed a bath um, so yeah there was enough that I needed to do yeah, sometimes it's a case of like deep breaths in, deep breaths out, and yeah, we'll get there when we get there. <laughs> in the end, everything was done when we needed to, so that was nice. Had a good birthday. The son got a lot of Paw Patrol stuff, which he actually loved. Because yeah, he loves Paw Patrol. So he was happy with that. My uncle's gift it will be coming in on his birthday, potentially well, potentially tomorrow, actually. I believe it ended up probably being tomorrow, so I was like, yeah, well, I will be putting it aside because he wanted to really have it on his birthday. Because they couldn't make it on our son's birthday party because the week before we had a party for my aunt that they went to because that's that was their weekend off at least his I believe his wife was at home the weekend not entirely sure it could be that she was also at work but yeah they have quite a lot of animals so I guess that one <laughs> one is at home it's a little bit harder to take care of everything But yeah, and also because we have the family weekend, if the family day, yeah, that's a thing that they obviously want to have a day off for. So yeah, having three days off in a for three Saturdays off in a row would be too much, or well, two week, or three weekends. So I understand why they did it. But yeah, it was at the birthday party of my aunt. It was asking my son like. <clears throat> what do you want and he wanted I don't know probably coached it but he asked my son if he had a drum set like a little drum and he said no my uncle said it to me like instruments I was like yeah he has a lot he was like yeah but he didn't have this one I was like yeah that's possible so he said it was a drum I was like yeah fine by me I don't care that much if it's noisy <coughs> excuse me but yeah so I'm not too much fussed about something that making noise they actually have some music instruments but it's something that they just don't get every day and every once in a while I give it to them and it's just then like now you can have it the rest of the times you can't easy peasy and then it stays special also so yeah for the rest not much happened for this birthday it's like it's a regular birthday even though my husband was saying to my aunt 
she asked me if I still diamond painted because we have two in the living room. She asked if I still did that. And I was like, seeing that I do, it's still like my addiction. And I don't know how, but at a certain point my husband butted in and told me that I make a little money of it. Not like a lot, but like a few cents here and there. So I was basically obligated to tell her that I'm on YouTube and I was like, seriously? Because that's actually like the second time in my four years of being on YouTube that I told somebody in real life that I am on YouTube. <laughs> So yeah, that felt kind of awkward. It's not that I'm ashamed of it, but yeah, it's also not that something I'm like, hey people, I'm on YouTube, look at me, because I'm just generally in real life. I'm also pretty socially awkward, so yeah. Not that I'm not socially awkward in YouTube land, but I'm basically socially awkward and awkward in general, like, wherever. <laughs> but yeah, that's no news to me, so yeah. If you ever get the chance to meet me in real life, you will probably be like, what the hell is that kind of people, <laughs> people, human being? Because yeah, I'm just crazy with a little splash of sarcasm. A splash of dark humor and a lot of craziness. <laughs> so, yeah. Not everybody's cup of tea. I do know that. <laughs> and that's like channel-wise and private life-wise. Do know that not everybody can handle me, so I still am um, like amazed at the fact that my husband can already live with me, or well, not live with me the entire time, but he can stay together with me for over 11 years by this point in time. Live together for... ten and a half by now? No, not entirely, but almost. So yeah, yeah, we're together for like... not even a year, I think like three quarters of a year. Yeah, we met halfway March, uh, started dating the end of March, and I moved in with him in the end of December. But that was also due to the fact that um, he basically was at my place already, <laughs> like every time he was at home. Because at that point in time he had a base placement in Den Helder, where basically the Navy is in the Netherlands, or at least most of it. So that basically meant that from Monday till Friday he was not at home anyways. And like the January till more end of end of January till end of May from the year after we met, so like the month after we moved in together. He wasn't at home because he had a mission around Africa, an anti-piracy mission to guide merchant ships and keep everything safe as there. So yeah, it's nobody to fight with if you can't even speak much for four months. So we're basically like, yeah, whatever. We're going to see how everything goes. And yeah, we're now even like another 10 years later and we're still together. Even have two kids. So we must be doing something good. <laughs> but yeah, I think the fact that we talk about a lot of things has saved us a couple of times already. Not every, everything we talk about like directly, but sometimes it's like, oh, you know, that situation was kind of tricky. Yeah, I think like every couple has those moments. 
If not, I think you're lying to yourself. <laughs> Every relationship has its rough patches. It's just part of being in a relationship. This color is getting kind of boring. <laughs> Oh yeah, I have a few background colors that there's a lot of. And that's not as much fun to work on. But we'll get through it. Yeah, so for the rest of the week, what did we do? On Sunday, we went to the city center. We needed to grab a few things. I also did a lot of resin work again. I told you last week that I would have put in an image, but the images were... Downright awful. I couldn't get it focused as I wanted. And I actually also uh, edited the video before I remembered. So I was like, yeah, I'm not going to re-edit it entirely. Waiting for hours for it to finish. When the only thing I do is just putting in a message like, hey, the image didn't look good. <coughs> so sorry if you wanted to see them. I hope that in the future I have a decent image of it. Um, yeah, I did make another batch of my dies. They are actually almost ready to be demolded, but that will be for tomorrow, not for today. Because, yeah, it's getting late enough as is. I am making a few uh, color examples so he could can take them to his group to decide like because I'm making the little rings for around the characters for like mood yeah basically like moods and health and stuff like that so they can decide like what color do they want for certain things I have made him a few red ones because that's apparently a common color. So yeah, I'm trying out everything and we'll see how we get from there. And then I can say like, oh, we need a lot of these, we need a lot of these, these is one or two is enough. And so then he can basically order them. <laughs> But yeah. What did we do more? We actually got a couple of movies two weeks ago, I guess it was. And we watched one last week. Am I filming still? Yes, I am. <laughs> Good. So, um... I think it was Puss in Boots 2 that we watched. We actually do watch a lot of cartoons and stuff, so I like it. <laughs> I do need to say it was an entertaining movie. <laughs> we at the same time bought uh, Super Mario, I believe, and we also got for the kids the Mighty Movie from Paw Patrol. So we, when we had our french fries on Friday, they had Paw Patrol the movie. Well, the Mighty movie, the movie they have seen like multiple times. We still want to have that on DVD just in case it gets off Netflix. Because it's on there at the moment, but yeah, you never know when they remove it. Yeah, our daughter had uh, King's Day at school on Thursday. It was on Saturday, but yeah, obviously they're not in school on Saturday. <laughs> uh, yeah, they do it for the small groups that are having half days on Friday. They do that on Thursday. Um. Made her a little Dutch flag in her hair with hair ties. I painted her 
Dutch flags on her face. <laughs> she had a little dress on with like an orange skirt. I don't know what it was saying. Something like little princess or something. Because, yeah, you can like actually buy clothes speci specifically designed for King's Day. You wear them once and then they're gone, but oh well. <laughs> Thankfully, my daughter didn't grow as much last year, so she still fitted in her dress from last year. Happy me. <clears throat> but yeah, those are things that I many times like get a little bit too big. So one year they were a little bit big. And the next year they're a little bit small, but I still can do two years with them. <laughs> yeah. What else? What else? What else? For the rest, I don't think much else happens. Kids are now on vacation. They have May vacation, May vacancy. So they have now off for two weeks. After that, our son is going to school Monday till when for till Thursday, Friday. Her and his group is off. So yeah, they're already jumping up and down, or at least he is. <laughs> He's almost daily asking, like, am I going to school? Am I going to school? Do you know my daughter had a really funny saying she had today. I can't even remember it in Dutch, but I do know it was something about stuffed animals and hugs, because both of the words are knuffles in Dutch. So you can give somebody a hug, you give them a knuffle, or you have a stuffed animal, you have a knuffle. Sorry if I moved you, but <coughs> Pointed full tap with my feet on the ground to break up the cats because they were starting to fight again. <laughs> Cat fight! Ah, thankfully, almost done with this color. I also, as you can see, I painted my nails today. Because I was like, I needed to do the like update of the stash video. I did an as I said, a PR package. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to do fancy again and I'm going to paint my nails. <coughs> so probably tomorrow I will be painting my daughter's nails because she asked for it this morning already because I had to paint out. Well, paint, nail polish. <laughs> but I was like, yeah, you're going to gym class tonight. Well, in the afternoon. And then in the evening you need to shower. So no, not today. So it's like if you behave, <laughs> maybe tomorrow. Thankfully she behaved at least pretty decent or as much as you can expect for a five-year-old kid. Excuse me. Oh, yeah. So I think I'm going to finish off this color, which is like this little section here. And I think I'm going to call it a night. Because it's 11.30 now. Give or take. And I'm also not feeling the greatest. I'm getting a little cough. So, yeah. <laughs> not really into it. Don't like it. Obviously. <sighs> My nose feels like it's closed, so I feel like it's stuffy, but there's nothing moving. It feels like I'm throwing out boogers left, right, and center, and yeah, it's dry as can be. So that's always an annoying feeling. It feels like I constantly need to breathe through my mouth, even though I can still perfectly breathe. So, yeah, always nice. Not. 
I hope I don't get it as rough as my husband because yeah, he already has a severe cough for a few weeks now. When he gets a thickly throat, it gets really bad, but now it's just like a slime cough and keeps coughing everything up and yeah. Quickly drink out a drink because my throat is starting to tickle too much. <coughs> That's better. So keep on drinking. So yeah, I hope you're feeling better health-wise. <laughs> Weather here is starting to act up. It's starting to feel like summer again, or at least spring. Spring sprung. Because, yeah, today, today you know, I think it went up to like 21, 22 degrees Celsius, so that's pretty warm for here, for Netherlands doing. So yeah, I believe tomorrow it would go up to 23 or something, if it wasn't already today. So yeah, I do like a little bit of warm weather, but... Not too much, please. <laughs> I'm also feeling so warm at the moment that I'm like sitting here in just a tank top and my jogging pants, pyjama pants, however you want to call them. It's like a sweatsuit, sweater, sweatpants, however you want to call them, and just a regular tank top underneath. But I've taken off the jacket because it was too warm. I'm kind of warm-blooded, just like my son, even though he wanted to keep on his t-shirt with long sleeves today. And my daughter wanted short sleeve, and she's the one that's always cold, just like my husband. <laughs> but oh well. I have this color done now, so I'm color the night. <laughs> I'm totally exhausted by now. So I'm going to put this back in this pot. Well, I'm putting it in this pot because there was nothing in it. It was a full jar and a full bag before I started this color. So that was quite a lot of that color. <laughs> because now I have just this left. It was like entirely full. So yeah. But yeah, I think it's long enough for this week. Not as rambly and long as I regular go. But yeah, as I said, it's eleven thirty past. <laughs> so yeah. I'm going to go. I'm going to bed. I'm going to sleep. I'm tired. <laughs> After I finish some cleaning up of my mess I made for filming. So, yeah. But yeah, I still managed to ramble on for about 40 minutes. So, it's good enough, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Again, I'm going to go now. I hope you liked this video. If you did, well, you know the trail. Like, subscribe, leave a comment if you want. And... I hope to see you in the next video. Have a wonderful rest of your date, night, week, whatever applies. And I hope to see you in the next video. Bye!